let's talk about decision making in business. Why is that such an important topic? Well, if you're not making a decision, your business is going to float. It's not going into a direction. So I'm going to explain how to do that. My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy. And I help self-employed businesswomen building a business and becoming a business owner and being the leader of your business and maybe even the leader of your industry. Now, why is decision making so important? I just explained why. And what I often see when I work with my clients is that this is a difficult topic. Um, they do like to discuss the decisions they're about to make with me just to reassure themselves that they are taking the right decision. And yeah, I think that's sensible to do. But often I notice that they already know. They just want the reassurance of me. And then when I reassure, they're going to do that. So bear in mind that once you are looking for reassurance, that often you already know what is the right decision. Okay? I hope that's going to help you. Why is it often difficult as well for women? Because making a decision will, be, will often be seen as, well, if I do this, I cannot do this. So it is an either or decision. If I choose this, then my people cannot. Or if I choose to go this direction, my current clients cannot. So everything is being taken in account. And of course, that's beautiful. But decisions never have to be either or. That's the beauty. So how can you make a decision when it's not a black and white decision, an either or? decision. Now it's important when you're about to make decisions to check if it's aligned with your mission, with your vision and with your plans and goals. And I would want to say core values but they are part of your mission. Because if you have created plans and goals, it's a lot easier for you to make decisions. Because when you have goals, you have a sense of direction. You can then measure if your goal is going to bring you closer to your goals, not closer to your goals, or even brings you further away from your goals. So it's always important to make sure that you have plans and goals. They are essential when you want to make decisions. Sometimes it's important to make a quick decision. And I see often for women, and I'm included, that sometimes it's difficult to make a quick decision. Because we want to see everything. Everything is important and we want to make sure that we make a decision that is right for everybody, not just for us. We are different in making decisions. But sometimes it is important to make a quick decision because sometimes opportunities are only there for a short while. And then you might say, okay, well, you know, then it's not for me because I can't make fast decisions. I want to sleep over it. Okay. But you, sometimes you just don't want to miss an opportunity. So let me give you a tool. A tool that you can use whenever you feel it's important to make a quick decision. And did you hear feel? This is also important in making decisions, especially for women. Trusting our gut feeling. What does it say? Does it feel okay? Even if you don't know yet what's going to happen. Or does it feel very, very challenging? That is a different feeling. The feeling of, oh, it's very challenging, it's scary. 
might be interpreted as a gut feeling. No, I, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel okay. But that is a different feeling. That is not your gut feeling. And it's very important to know where the feeling comes from. So let me give you the tip. If you have to make a quick decision, look at scenario number one. What is the best case scenario? What is the best that can happen if you make this decision? Scenario number two. What is the worst that can happen if you make this decision? And scenario number three. What is the most likely that is going to happen when you make this decision? And then we're going to add the magic. You're going to count one, two, three, decide. And the first thing that comes to mind, that is what you're going to do. Because that's from your gut feeling. Don't go in your head. It's immediate. That's following your intuition. Now this is just one little part of being a leader and becoming a business owner and really building a business. There's lots of areas that you will have to work on. And sometimes it's a little more complicated for us women because many skills to be successful in a business are masculine. But we can equally learn these skills as well. Why don't you schedule a quick 15 minute call with me to find out what are the skills that you might need to work on? What are the things that you will want to happen for your business in the near future, you know, in the next year? And how are you going to get there? I'm looking forward to talking to you. My name is Dineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy. Bye bye.